Right, everybody, I have found some muck. And in this muck, because the, all muck out here has got interesting things in it, there is an egg. And I'm just going to hold it there. Can you see it, David? Yes. And from my angle, because the sun is behind it, I can see that there was some, there still is something in it. But there are holes in the egg which indicate to me that something else has got in there. I don't know what kind of an egg it is. I'm going to suspect it's something like a gecko egg. But how many eggs must not make it to fruition, I think, is astounding. Because that's probably been perforated maybe by a termite that was living in this mound. This is a piece of termite mound that comes from this array of dead trees here. And what they'll do is, I guess these termites kind of set up a, a contemporary camp. The main mound, I don't know, Dave, can you see it there? It's just just beyond the sort of pile of dead things on the right hand side there. Yeah. I think that's the main mound. And, well, it's certainly part of the main mound. It, it's quite possible that the colony that made this is that same colony from that huge mound over that side. I don't really know. But they make these kind of temporary refuges in the area where they're gathering the food. Because there are no termites left in here. And if you look at that, you can see hundreds of little tunnels that go through here. And this, I suspect, was probably dug up by elephants. I'm not sure why they dig them up. I think they probably just come up when the roots of the trees get broken up. Anyway, that's really all I have to tell you about this. I'll try and see if I can find something else inside it while we wait for Brent to find something deeply exciting. Viam is coming to rescue us. He said he was just having a picnic on the way. There we go. One thing you don't want to find out here while you're talking and trying to present is a scorpion. Because the scorpion will of course then pick you or bite you and uh, you will say a bad word while live. And that would of course be terrible, wouldn't it David? Yes, Especially on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, nothing else in here of any interest whatsoever. I'll try and find something else, shall I David? Yes, David. Alright, come with me then. Uh, obviously, I can't move within a greater radius than this. Now, if you, you could actually, if you were a fine naturalist, you could probably take an hour-long walk in an area just where the range of this microphone is. Here we have some dung. I know that many of you have seen this dung before. It is impala dung, a very fine vintage of impala dung, quite small. A small impala would have made this dung, of course. And I think on a Saturday afternoon, it is always a good idea to uh, engage in traditional South African sports. Many of you will know the sport bok drol spuch. A bok meaning a goat, a drol meaning one of these, and to spuch, of course, means to spit. David, you and I are now going to compete at bok drol spuch. Bring it on. Right. That means we are going to see how, many t how far we are able to spit the dung of the bok draw. Where should we spit it to, David? That way, that way yes. out there. Okay, you will go first. Right. I will allow you the two feet from where you are sitting as an advantage. Ready? Ready. <coughs> Very good, David. Here is where your bok draw landed. Strong wind, then. It's a strong wind, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six size sevens from the back end of the vehicle. I will now try myself. <laughs> I'm taking the victory on that one. I'll give you another try. All right, all right. No, I got it. You've got one. Yes. Okay, here we go again, everybody. Right, here we go. This wasn't much better, David. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine size sevens from the vehicle. I'm shortly to beat him to duck. Hopeless. Anyway, that's Bok Drol Spuch, everyone. Wonderful game. You can't see down here, can you? I can. Here is a hole that Only belongs... Just. Hmm? Only just. Only belongs. just. Yes, yeah. So just below my hand here is a hole that belongs to a Bushveld gerbil. Now, the Bushveld gerbil seems to be in residence. Uh, there are tracks all the way around the outside that you can't see. I'd love to be able to show you, but I can't move this foul vehicle that is Wendy. See what else we can find around here.